Hey, welcome back to Morgan's World, guys. I wanted to go over this four-piece fishing rod that I just recently took to Alaska on a salmon fishing trip. I don't usually do gear videos, but I will say when you're traveling, packing for the plane can be kind of stressful. And uh, if you have a four-piece rod like this, it can make your uh, experience a lot easier. We recently just flew up to Ketchikan and then into Prince of Wales Island on a salmon fishing trip. And uh, I made sure to buy a four piece rod called the Valiant Eagle. Um, I believe it's, yeah, it's the Passage. I can't remember, I think it's a Cast King. Uh, let's pull this box open and I'll kind of show you what we got. I actually got two in here. Um, and I gotta say, after putting them through the test, pretty happy with them. So this is what you get. And my buddy was using one of these. I guess these aren't by Cast King. Valiant Eagle. So it's the Valiant Eagle is the brand. The Passage. And I'll put a link. I'll put a link on the uh, Amazon page here. Just to show you guys where you can get one. These are pretty long. So it's touching the ground right now. And if I go to put this tip on you know, it's gonna to touch the ceiling. So there it is, right there. Grab this camera. So this is kind of what it looks like here. Now, I know both these uh, rods landed a lot of salmon when we were up in Alaska. Um, I know for a fact mine, which is, I believe this one, uh, landed over a hundred salmon. Now these weren't Chinook King salmon, but uh, we were landing uh, some dog salmon that were up past 16 pounds. Um, it looks like this one's a little bit lighter action. So this would have been, no, I think this one's a lighter action. Now what I want to do is get they make some that are like lightweight rods, something that would be better for trout. I'm going to try one of those next um, because now that I've got these four piece rods, I'm kind of really starting to love them. There is a couple downsides though, and I'll kind of go over that. So yeah, this one's just a little shorter, a little bit lighter action. Kind of show you the difference. They're both sitting in the same spot and that one just is you know, maybe a foot shorter and a little bit more, a little lighter. This one actually might be pretty good for trout fishing. Um, one of the downsides that I noticed, and I don't know if these are more meant for bait fishing or what, but see how there's a normal rod does not have this many eyes, something that you're going to use, go spin fishing with. It's got so many eyelids. I did have a couple issues with the line getting wrapped up in there. Um, also like bobber stops, we were fishing slip bobbers and it worked okay, but those eyelids are so tight that those little bobber stops occasionally would get caught up in there and it would end up moving your bobber stop so that when you thought you would be drifting above the bottom that you ended up uh, dragging bottom and losing some gear. Um, that was pretty minimal. I mean, we really, we fished a lot with these things and for the most part they held up really well um, but that was probably my biggest downside now they pack up so small that uh some guys i saw on the planes they were just throwing them with their carry-on throwing them right in the overhead and nobody said anything and i saw that i went two times up to alaska this year and both times i saw people doing that so if you have one of these four piece rods you could probably get away with just doing it in the, in the overhead. Um, I ended up throwing it in a big uh, hunting backpack and I checked a bag for 35 bucks each way. And uh, I just was able to stuff it in my big pack with everything else and it worked great. Here's one of the reels that we used. Actually, I don't think we used this one. I set this one up and brought it for trout. But basically, here's how it mounts. It'll slip in there just like any other rod tighten it down and boom okay there we go all right we're going to run this up through i 
little trick I've learned. You ever go to pull line and you didn't give it enough free spool so it it ends up uh, getting caught on the rot reel or something? I just, I don't know why it's so obvious, but you just flip the little dial on the bottom so that it free spins. And uh, that way that doesn't happen and then just flip it back when you're done. Obviously, you probably already know that, but for me it took a while. So if you're in the same boat, then uh, congrats. There you go. There's my tip. And see, this is what I mean. It's got so many eyelids. I don't know. That's the one thing that in my mind is overkill and unnecessary. But maybe in the comments you could explain to me like what the purpose is for that. The only other rods I've seen like this is like bait rods. And I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I got the wrong kind of rod, but it worked. <laughs> Let's tie on a lure and I'll just show you that this thing can cast pretty effectively. And we definitely, uh, we definitely tested that out. You're good. The one thing that one of my friends had, uh, one of my friends had go wrong is when he went to cast the three of the four pieces flew off in the water and he had to reel them in. No one else had that happen. And I believe that that was just because he let it get loose and, um, didn't notice it and and we never had that issue at all so i don't think it's a big issue but it is something that happened so i figured i'd mention it okay let's go all right so there you go uh and i'm in the tree <laughs> i got it yeah, this thing will just zing them. It'll go a long way, so let's move. It's kind of hard to review a fishing pole because it's a stick that you cast out of. Um, the main reason I wanted to make this video though was to show you for traveling, I don't think you can do any better. I think this is, I'm getting a lot more of these like for trout and stuff. Even in my truck, I've broke rod tips just by having the kids throw their bikes and stuff on top of my rods and now, Oh, I'm going to use one of these. I've also had, and I'm sure you've had it too, where you throw your rods in the back and they get all tangled up. With this, I'm just snipping the line, throwing them back in the case, and then I put them in my garage. They take up less space. I'm pretty sold on these. Let's see. So, from right there, I just cast it out past the lily pads. That's a good... I don't know, that's 30 yards plus, 90 feet. And this is a pretty light lure. So ultimately, there's the Valiant pass, Passage, Valiant Eagle Passage. Uh, get it on Amazon for, I don't know, 60, 70 bucks, maybe even a little less. And uh, if you got any other pointers or better rod options for me to try on the next trip, let me know. But I wanted to do a quick video and just maybe help somebody out on their next traveling fishing adventure. I think it's well worth the price you're gonna pay um, for the convenience of having a, a rod. And I very well maybe switch into these full, like all my rods. I There's a good chance I may switch to four piecers. Um, I'm really liking the way they store in my garage and in my truck a lot better than uh, than the old two-piece rods that just get all tangled up and I end up leaving them tied up. And so I don't know, I'm uh, not 100%. I'm gonna show you what I do too when I was traveling because I don't know if you're like me, I get worried that I'll break a rod and be kind of screwed. So I just stuffed two. This I bought the one with a case and one without and I just stuffed two in there. One fits super easy. And then the next one, this way you could carry a couple different size rods too, maybe like a really light action, small trout rod, something for some bigger fish in case you find them. This one's a little tighter cause it's a bigger pole, but I mean, to me, it's not too hard. 
considering. Oh, my bad. Just like that, you're ready to go on a plane. I mean, I just, I'm pretty sold, guys. I've tried, uh, I try a lot of different gear out. Um, luck, I've been kind of blessed to be able to do quite a bit of stuff, especially this year. And uh, this was one of those buys that I'm like, man, I think I, I think I just changed my arsenal for the, forever. So four piece rods, check them out. Hopefully it helps you on your next trip. And uh, please, if you, if you can, give me a subscribe or a thumbs up.